Good evening, President Viasquez. It is five o'clock and we are recording. Thank you, Mr. Allen. I call the special meeting of the San Juan Unified School District Board of Education to order. This meeting is being audio and video recorded and the recording may capture sounds and images of those attending this meeting. The recording will be posted on the district website. I'm Paula Viesquez, board president, and joining me tonight via Zoom is Dr. Michael McKibben, board vice president, Ms. Zima Creason, board clerk, and Ms. Pam Costa and Mr. Saul Hernandez, board members. Superintendent Kern and other staff members are also in attendance. <clears throat> There's one closed session item on tonight's agenda, uh, collective bargaining matters, discussion with negotiator Jim Shoemake, assistant superintendent for schools and labor relations, regarding CSCA chapter 127 general operations support, chauffeurs, teamsters, local number, local number 150, transportation, supervisors, teachers, and certificated supervisory units, and regarding non-represented groups, management, and confidential units, government code section 54957.6. Tonight, the board will be providing, um, be provided an update on bargaining in closed session, no action will be taken this evening. If action were necessary, it would come before the board in an open session for deliberation and a vote. As a special meeting, public comment is limited to only items that are on tonight's agenda, which is exclusively related to a collective bargaining update. We welcome public comment and we'll take update um, and we'll take comments up to the 30 minute time limit established by board policy, board bylaw 93. Two, three. If we reach the 30 minute limit and there are additional individuals who wish to offer comment, the board would welcome your comment via the public comment form found at www.sanjuan.edu slash board meeting. All comments submitted through the form are provided to board members for our consideration. Mr. Allen, at this time, will you please give instructions to those in attendance um, via Zoom on how they can raise their hand if they have uh, public comment on the single closed session agenda item this afternoon. I would be happy to, President Viasquez. If you have joined us on the Zoom meeting tonight and would like to offer a comment related to the collective bargaining update, now is your opportunity to do so. You can do that by clicking that raise hand button found at the bottom of your screen on a mobile device or your desktop Zoom client. Or if you've dialed into the call today, you can press star nine on your telephone keypad to raise your hand as well. Thank you, Mr. Allen. I would like to remind the public that comments are limited to two minutes and the clock on the screen will count down the time. Under the Ralph M. Brown Act, the board is not allowed to comment on items that are not on the agenda, so we're not ignoring your comments. We just can't respond to any individual comments. The superintendent can refer items to staff who can follow up with you. Uh, Mr. Allen, I'll turn it over to you to navigate us through public comments. Certainly, President Viasquez, we do have uh, three hands raised at this time. So we will start with our first speaker, Mr. Ben Avey. When you are ready, sir. Good evening, Madam President, board member, Superintendent Kern. Um, thank you for posting this closed session uh, agenda meeting. I am I'm very hopeful that based on the topic, you will be discussing labor negotiations as it relates to ending the lockout for schools and returning safely to in-person learning for our students. Uh, before you go into closed session, I did just want to raise a few points regarding that matter, which is for the labor negotiations to remind you that the CDC and the California Department of Public Health have both said that it is safe to return and we do have a number of school districts in the state and across the country who have demonstrated the safe ways that we can return to in-person learning. We can do it now. The state allows us to do it now. There is no time to wait. More importantly, I wanna raise the fact that parents and students do not have a seat at the bargaining table that you will be discussing. You are our representatives. You are our voice. We cannot go into closed session. We cannot negotiate directly with your labor partners. So we count on you to share our voice. And we know that you will do so dutifully and in the best interest of the students that you have been elected to represent. Thank you. I hope you were able to strike a good deal that returns us to in-person learning immediately. Thank you. And thank you for your comment, Mr. Avey. 
Our next comment will be from Mrs. D, when you are ready. Hello, can you hear me? We can. Hello, school board. I'm Shanda Duranavong, parent of a fourth grade student at Detterding Elementary. I am well aware of the San Juan Teachers Association and San Juan Unified School District's current agreement that requires a two week transition timeline. Let me be on record that I'm asking the board to stand firm on the request for the Teachers Association to adopt the five day timeline once in the red tier to get our children back on campus as soon as possible. I'm also asking that the board continue to advocate for the return of K through six if the red tier stalls. Our children have been out of school for close to a year and while districts all around us, some a mere few miles away are now fully open for full-time in-person instruction, the time for our district to follow suit is now. I know many teachers that want to be back into the classroom with their students, but it seems their voices are being silenced, just like the voices of our children. The time for bargaining with the teacher, Teachers Association is over, and now the board must fight on behalf of their youngest constituents. We must take action now to end the lockdown of San Juan Unified Schools before it is too late. Thank you for allowing me to speak. And thank you for your comment. Our next comment is from Katie Reed, when you are ready. Good afternoon, board. I wanted to take an opportunity to remind you that you represent the community stakeholders and request that you take a stand against any of the unions who continue to push back regarding returning to in-person school. Yesterday, I had nine separate friends who are teachers share the SGTA union survey results with me. They, they shared them with me, even though I'm not a teacher in the district, because they were disheartened to see that neither a red tier plus five days nor a return of elementary school students in the purple tier were included on that survey at all. How does the SJTA know that it is representing its teachers' interests regarding returning to school if it's not even asking the teachers' opinions on these issues? If you feel like you need a pep talk from us tonight, this is your pep talk. A lawsuit is not the end of the world. I am an attorney. All I deal with all day long are crummy lawsuits. We need you to speak up on behalf of the parents, the students, and the teachers who feel unrepresented by the SGT SJTA and want to return to school immediately. Thank you. And thank you for your comment. And President Viescas, that was our final raised hand. Okay, thank you. We will now move into closed session. For those of you who have joined us on Zoom tonight, the board has recessed to closed session or moved to closed session, excuse me. Um, they will come back out to close the meeting. However, as President Vasca said, no action is anticipated tonight. Uh, so they will simply come out and close the meeting. There's not another public comment session on tonight's agenda. Uh, so the closing of the meeting will be the only thing that happens when they come back out of the meeting. You are more than welcome to hang out here. The Zoom will stay live and you're welcome to stay. Um, or if you would like to watch the recording later, of course, you can do that as well. Uh, but thank you for coming tonight and checking in on us.
Good evening again, President Viasquez. Recording has resumed. Fantastic. Um, I call the special meeting of the San Juan Unified School District Board of Education back to order. There are no closed session actions to report and there being no further items on the agenda, we are adjourned. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Thank you, President Viasquez. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Our next regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of Education is set for Tuesday, March 9th. We do expect to be on Zoom as well as YouTube. So we hope you'll be able to join us. Visit www.sanjuan.edu slash board meeting for all the details. Thank you. Have a great weekend.